The streets were eerily quiet across the United Kingdom today as families celebrated Christmas apart under strict measures to prevent a surge of COVID-19. Today, the Queen acknowledged the incredible sacrifices in her annual Christmas Day speech. Crystal Gumansing reports. It's not exactly a quick trip down Candy Cane Lane. Trucks are moving through the Eurotunnel and at the Port of Dover, but it's slow going. More British military members have been pressed into service to speed up COVID-19 testing of drivers. The backlog of transport trucks in England, another unexpected twist in a year knotted up like a string of Christmas lights. Every year we herald the coming of Christmas by turning on the lights. And light does more than create a festive mood. Light brings hope. In her annual Christmas speech, the Queen spoke of her faith and how humanity has illuminated many dark days, from those who have inspired us to those providing care. For many, this time of year will be tinged with sadness, some mourning the loss of those dear to them, and others missing friends and family members distance for safety, when all they really want for Christmas is a simple hug or a squeeze of the hand. If you are among them, you are not alone. Words from a queen, but also a grandmother and mother separated from her family. An additional six million people in England will be moving to a lockdown on Boxing Day, along with mainland Scotland and Northern Ireland. After a last minute Christmas Eve Brexit deal, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is back to trying to soothe the nation ravaged by the virus. I still think that feeling of hope is all around us this Christmas because there really is a star in the sky and it is glowing brighter and brighter. He says the star is the vaccine and as more people around the world are inoculated, 2021 looks to be a better year. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.